And those demonstrations are drawing plenty of comparisons to protests five decades ago. Back in March 1965, what became known as Bloody Sunday marked a turning point in the civil rights movement. Well, today, one of its leaders, John Lewis, was memorialized. And his funeral procession passed over the very same bridge where a peaceful march met a violent police crackdown. Lewis was nearly killed when a state trooper cracked open his skull with a billy club. And as Mike Armstrong explains, that image and Lewis's bravery helped to spark a racial reckoning. It has been called the final crossing. A civil rights legend, John Lewis, carried one last time across the bridge where he was almost killed. On that day, 55 years ago, it was a police officer's billy club that cracked Lewis's skull. On this day, Alabama state troopers lifted their hands to salute. The screams are one of the things that stand out when the stories of that day are told. March 7th, 1965, men and women marching for voting rights were met by police and civilians armed with clubs. 67 marchers were injured, about a quarter of them had to be hospitalized. That included one of the leaders, John Lewis. I was beaten by a state trooper, knocked to the ground. What happened on this bridge wasn't the only time he was beaten. Getting into what Lewis called good trouble put him in danger often. In one incident, the man who beat him was identified, but Lewis refused to press charges. He said the struggle wasn't against one man, but against the system that produced that man. Well, one of Lewis's accomplishments was being part of the leadership that kept that struggle alive after another of its leaders was killed. We, we couldn't let the assassination of Dr. King stop the movement. Lewis would call this bridge hallowed ground and return often. For the 50th anniversary in 2015, he walked across with U.S. President Barack Obama. Even in March of this year, he took part in the anniversary while battling stage four pancreatic cancer. Now, the bridge crossing is only one in a week of tributes and ceremonies. Lewis's body will be moved to Washington for Monday and Tuesday, then to Georgia, his funerals in Atlanta Thursday. But another tribute may come later. That bridge he crossed is named after Edmund Pettus, a Confederate general from the Civil War who was also a grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. There is a movement growing to rename it after John Lewis. Mike Armstrong, Global News.